हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन मैंशुरेशन एक्सरसाइज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन इज द एरिया ऑफ अ पैलोलोग्राम इज पी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड इट्स हाइट इज क्यू सेंटीमीटर अ सेकेंड पैलोलोग्राम हैज इक्वल एरिया बट इट्स बेस इज आर सेंटीमीटर मोर देन दैट ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑप्टेन एन एक्सप्रेशन इन द टर्म ऑफ पी क्यू आर फॉर द हाइट एच ऑफ सेकेंड पैलोलोग्राम सो फर्स्ट दे हैव गिवन एरिया ऑफ फर्स्ट पैलोलोग्राम एरिया ऑफ फर्स्ट पैलोलोग्राम इज गिवन इक्वल टू पी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड एज वी नो एरिया ऑफ पैलोलोग्राम इज इक्वल टू बेस इन टू हाइट दिस इज इक्वल टू पी बेस वी डोंट नो हाइट इज गिवन एज क्यू so height we will substitute q and equal to p so base of this first parallelogram is coming p upon q now for the second parallelogram they told its base is r cm more than of the first one so base of second parallelogram will be r cm more than of first matlab p upon q plus r which we can write as P plus Q R upon Q. Now we will find out the height for the second parallelogram. Area of second parallelogram is also equal to P centimeter square. It is given in the question. Both the areas are equal. So base into height is equal to P. Base we will take this one. P plus Q R upon Q, and height we have to write in the term of P Q R. So height will be equal to this base. We will shift another side. So height is equal to P into Q upon P plus Q R. This is the relation between height and P Q R. And the answer of this question is given wrong in few books. So please consider this is the correct answer for this question. Next we have question number twenty seven. What is the area of a rhombus whose diagonals are twelve centimeter and sixteen centimeter? When we know the diagonals of a rhombus, then area will be half d one into d two. So area of rhombus is equal to half. D one into D two. D one means first diagonal. D two means second diagonal. Substitute the values. Twelve into sixteen and twelve is your ninety six centimeter square. Next to question number twenty eight. The area of a rhombus is ninety eight centimeter square. If one of its diagonal is fourteen, what is the length of other diagonal? So same formula we are going to use here. Area of rhombus is equal to D one if half D one into D two, this is given equal to ninety eight centimeter square. In place of area of rhombus, we'll write the formula of area of rhombus in the term of diagonals. One diagonal is given fourteen, and another diagonal we have to find out. Two seven times we can cancel out, and seven we will shift another side, which will go for division. Cancel with seven, seven one, and seven. Four zero twenty eight. So other diagonal will be fourteen centimeter. Next we have question number twenty nine. The perimeter of a rhombus is forty five centimeter. If its height is eight centimeter, calculate its area. So first with the help of perimeter we will find out its one side. As we know the rhombus all four sides are equal. So perimeter will be four a. Here perimeter is given. Forty-five centimeter and perimeter of rhombus will be four into side. So one side will be forty-five by four centimeter, and area of rhombus will be base into height. Any one side you can consider as base. Forty-five by four will take as base. Height is given eight. Cancel out forty five into two ninety centimeter square. Next question number thirty. P 
PQRS is a rhombus if it's it is given that PQ is 3 cm and the height of the rhombus is 2.5 cm calculate its area so one side we will take as base so area of rhombus will be base into height if base and height is given then we'll use base into height formula if diagonals are given then we will use half d1 into d2 formula so one side we will take as base 3 cm height is given 2.5 cm after multiplication we will get 7.5 cm square next we have question number 31 if the diagonals of a rhombus are 8 cm and 6 cm find its perimeter diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degree so this angle will be 90 degree if this is 8 means it will bisect 4 here and 4 this side this is 6 means 3 this side and 3 this side so this triangle AOB or all these 4 triangles we will get as right angle triangle so here we will use Pythagoras theorem to find out this side so in triangle AOB by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so base we can take as 4 perpendicular we can take as 3 16 plus 9 will get 25 so hypotenuse will be 5 so this one side we are getting 5 all four sides will be equal so therefore perimeter will be 4 into side 4 into 5 20 centimeter next we have question number 32 if the side of a rhombus are 5 centimeter one side we will take 5 5 centimeter and one diagonal is 8 so diagonal are bisecting each other so 4 4 will divide now we have to calculate the length of other diagonals so this i have taken as x and then area of rhombus so this is like previous question only as we know diagonals are bisecting at 90 degree so this will be a right angle triangle and we'll use pythagoras theorem to find out this side so in triangle aob by pythagoras theorem base square plus height square is equal to hypotenuse square base we can take as 4 and height we have to calculate hypotenuse is 5 so 16 plus height square equal to 25 so height square will be 25 minus 16 it will come 9 so height will be 3 centimeter so therefore other diagonal will be this is 3 3 plus 3 it will be 6 for the second part we have to find out the area of rhombus so area of rhombus now we have both the diagonals so we can use half d1 into d2 formula half 8 into 6 24 centimeter square next we have question number 33 a part given figure is a trapezium find the length of bc and the area of trapezium ab is given 5 centimeter ad is 4 centimeter and cd is 8 centimeter so here this ad is uh, joining at 90 degree with ab and cd so first of all we'll draw one line b to e on cd to complete this rectangle so first we'll join be to form rectangle a d e b now in this rectangle this side is 5 centimeter so opposite side also will be 5 centimeter here to here it will be 5 this complete is 8 so remaining 3 will be this side this is 4 so this b to e also will be 4 and this angle will be 90 degree now in this triangle with the help of pythagoras theorem we can find out bc 
in triangle BCE by Pythagoras theorem BC square is equal to BE square plus CE square BE is 4 and CE is 3 16 plus 9 25 so therefore BC is 5 centimeter this is the first part second we have to find out the area of trapezium area of trapezium is equal to half sum of parallel sides multiply by height parallel sides are 8 and 5 so we'll do their sum 8 plus 5 and the distance height between them is 4 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 into 2, 26 centimeter square. Next we have question number 33b part. Given figure is a trapezium, find AB and area of ABCD. So first of all same we will join C to E to form a rectangle. So join CE such that AB C E is a rectangle. As A B C E is a rectangle, so opposite side will be equal. This is 2, this will be 2. Total A to D is 8. So if we remove till here 2, so remaining side will be 6 cm. Now in this triangle, this will be a right angle triangle. In triangle C D E, we will use Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, EC square plus ED square, base square plus height square will be equal to hypotenuse square. Base we don't know. This is 6 and this one is 10. Shift 36 another side 100 minus 36 will get 64. So therefore EC will be equal to 8. So AB also will be 8. This is first part. Now for the second part we have to find out the area of this trapezium. Area of trapezium ABCD will be half sum of parallel sides into height parallel sides are 8 and 2 and height just now we have calculated 8 8 plus 2 is 10 and 2 4 40 centimeter square next we have question number 33 c part the cross section of a canal is shown in the figure if the canal is 8 cm wide at the top and 6 cm at the bottom and the area of this canal is 16.8 cm square then find out its depth. So depth that we have taken its depth is h. When we are measuring in the downward direction we will use depth word instead of height word. So this is a trapezium. So area of trapezium is equal to Half sum of parallel sides into height. Area of trapezium is given 16.8 half. Parallel sides are 8 and 6 and height we have taken as h. 16.8 is equal to half into 14 into h can cancel out 7 times. So therefore h value will be 16.8 upon h. Uh, or 7 cancel 7 2 ja and 7 4 ja 28 2.4 centimeter so depth will be 2.4 centimeter so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions we will continue in the next video if you like the channel please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching it